Huge efforts are being made to rewild and reverse ecological destruction in order to bring back lost or dwindling animals. When people think of endangered animals, images of fluffy pandas munching on bamboo in Asian forests or hulking great rhinos tearing across African plains typically come to mind. However, Europe is also home to many species that are threatened as a result of hunting intensive agriculture pollution and climate change. Organizations like Rewilding Europe, which was founded in 2011 with the aim of rewilding 1 million hectares on the continent by 2020, are reintroducing or promoting a number of endangered or disappearing species. They do this because they believe that making Europe more wild will benefit people and ecosystems. Before we get started, be sure to press the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more wonderful videos. In this video, we'll be looking at six species making a comeback in Europe. Continental bison Many people associate bison with the vast, open spaces of North America, where the animals once roamed in their tens of millions before being hunted to nearly extinction. However, bison also exist in Europe. After the Ice Age, man hunted the bison so intensely that it was forced into the farthest reaches of Europe. During World War I and the Russian Revolution, soldiers and poachers slaughtered the remaining wild animals. In 1919, the last wild bison in Europe perished in Poland, and in 1927, the final wild bison in Russia's Caucasus perished. The first bison were released back into the wild in the Bile of Asia Forest in Poland in 1954, followed by reintroductions in several other countries thanks to the work of many organizations, zoos and breeding centers, scientists and individuals. The species only survived thanks to 54 animals that were kept in different zoos originating from only 12 founder animals. The main issue is that too few areas in Europe are open to receiving bison for reintroduction, which is often due to misconceptions about the animal. It is now becoming increasingly clear that European bison prefer to inhabit mixed landscapes of open grassland and forests. Although the bison was saved from extinction, the species is still in great danger and is listed as near threatened on the IUCN Red List. More European areas can now be deemed ideal for the reintroduction of bison due to this, as well as evidence that they can coexist in very small, diversified ecosystems with other herbivores like horses and cattle. The most recognizable scavengers in Europe are probably vultures. It may be really captivating to see these big birds flying overhead on thermals or feasting in a carcass. At their lowest point in the 1960s, there were only 2,000 pairs of griffin vultures and 200 pairs of scenarios vultures left in Spain thanks to the reintroduction of an endangered species. Two centuries ago, the Egyptian bearded cenorius and the griffin vulture were among the most prevalent breeding bird species in Central and Southern Europe. However, a decreasing food supply coupled with habitat loss, persecution, and poisoning caused vultures to disappear from most European countries. In many areas, European vulture populations are presently slowly but steadily recovering. Once more a common sight, the breathtaking sight of vultures soaring across the sky as the only land-dwelling animal that can subsist purely on scavenging, vultures play a key role in maintaining the harmony of nature. Before people domesticated the horse, wild herds galloped across Europe unhindered. The last European horse is thought to have died out around 1909 while the original wild steeds are gone many horse breeds have continued to exist. Because they can quickly consume large amounts of flesh and their stomach acids neutralize pathogens they may help limit the spread of bacteria and diseases like anthrax and rabies. Horses enjoy eating rougher grasses and herbs, so when they are mass grazing, they will rip up tussocky grasslands to create sword mosaics with distinctive and species-rich short sword lawns. This helps to support and preserve a variety of grass and wildflower ecosystems.
Two of the four species of lynx that can be found worldwide can be found in Europe. The smaller, brighter colored Iberian lynx, which is related to the Eurasian lynx and now only found in southern Spain and Portugal, has a muscular physique, long legs, and a bob tail. Because they are solitary and mostly hunt at night, they are rarely observed by humans. Globally eliminated from various regions of Europe since the 1970s, the Eurasian lynx, which was thought to be extinct in nearly all of Central Europe for 200 years, has been reintroduced to numerous European nations. There are now estimated to be 9 to 10,000 European lynx in Europe thanks to a captive breeding program. The Iberian lynx has become one of Europe's greatest conservation success stories with numbers in the wild up from just 94 in 2002 to nearly 600 today. This growing population, which extends across 1,500 square kilometers, depends heavily on public acceptance. Wolf the Eurasian wolf is one of five subspecies of wolves found in Europe, and it is the most common. It weighs around 40 kilos on average and has short, coarse, tawny fur. Many Eurasian wolf populations are forced to subsist mostly on cattle and trash in human-dominated areas in Russia and Eastern Europe, wild ungulates including moose, red deer, roe deer, and wild boar continue to be the most important food sources. There have always been stable populations of this gray wolf subspecies in some parts of Europe, but a long history of hunting and persecution caused the animal to vanish from most Western European countries by the first half of the 20th century. In the second half of the 20th century, attitudes toward wolves began to change, and the animal is now protected in most European countries, spreading outward from strongholds in Poland and the Carpathian Eurasian wolf the wolf, a so-called apex predator, is an important animal in European ecosystems and affects prey populations both directly and indirectly. When wolves were reintroduced into Yellowstone National Park in the western United States in 1995 after a 70-year absence, their return set off a chain reaction. In addition to direct predation, wolves influence the behavior of their prey through the so-called ecology of fear, which means the presence of a predator also induces behavioral and psychological changes in prey species. Brown bear with its broad head, long snout, and small, round ears, the brown bear is immediately identifiable. The animal is obvious. When upright, brown bears are the largest terrestrial carnivores in Central Europe. Their height ranges from 1.7 to 2.2 meters depending on the habitat, and their weight ranges from 100 to 350 kilograms in all populations. However, brown bear males are naturally larger and heavier than brown bear females. This adaptable iconic species is present in an astounding variety of habitats. They have colonized some of the most difficult landscapes on the planet, from arctic tundras to tropical rainforests and mountain ranges. Bears are very shy creatures. As soon as they detect the scent of a human, they retreat. Therefore, a suitable habitat has to provide not only a rich supply of food, but also sufficient areas for refuge. Apex predators like bears and wolves can be among the hardest animals to conserve, especially on a continent as developed as Europe. These animals require large areas of land to roam and a sufficient prey base to survive and flourish. About 16,000 brown bears live on this continent, many in its more remote regions. However, some bears are managing to seek out an existence right on the edge of Europe's most popular tourist spots and well-known cities. A male brown bear's typical home area, for instance, might be up to 1,000 square kilometers, which has traditionally made them challenging and expensive to protect. That's it for today. If you loved it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment about what you hope to see in the upcoming episodes.